dihaploidization of haploid plant what does it means if you wish to make a diploid plant for using the haploid plants or you want to make the pure lines for the breeding program then this is the best method for uh, for the formation of diploid plants or pure lines so this uh, basically in this uh, method you use two different uh, procedures first is the colchicine treatment and second is the endomitosis what is done during the colchicine treatment colchicine is basically uh, widely used in the process of dipolarization of the homozygous homologous chromosomes it's, it basically act as an inhibitor of the spindle formation during the process of mitosis and induces the chromosome duplicate there are many ways of colchicine, uh, colchicine treatment to achieve dipolarization for the production of homozygous plants. First of all, when the plants are mature, colchicine in the form of paste is applied on the, uh, to the axils of the leaves and main axis is uh, decapitated and then st uh, this stimulates the axillary birds to grow into diploid and fertile branches are formed. Another case is uh, when you young plantlets are directly treated with the colchicine solution and they are washed thoroughly and replanted. This re also results in the formation of homozygous plants. Third uh, procedure for the colchicine treatment or third way in which you use uh, the process of colchicine treatment for the production of dihaploidization of haploid plant. In this case, you use the axillary birds that are re repeatedly treated with colchicine cotton wool and then uh, for the two to three weeks and as a result, there is a diploid plant formation. Second process which is used in dihaploidization of haploid plant is the endomitosis. Endomitosis is basically the phenomenon of doubling the chromosomes without the process of division of the nucleus. As you know that in a normal uh, mitosis and uh, process of mitosis, first of all there is division of nucleus. But in case of endomitosis, there is doubling of chromosome without the division of nucleus. So haploid cells in general are unstable in culture with the tendency tendency to undergo endomitosis. This property of haploid cell is exploited for dipolarization to produce the homozygous plants. This procedure basically involves growing a small segment of the haploid plant cell stem in a suitable medium. Then this is supplemented with different types of rock air -like growth regulators which includes eggs, auxins and cytokinins. And this in, uh, these uh, growth regulators are, uh, basically induce the callus formation which is followed by differentiation. So during the growth of callus, chromosomal doubling occurs by endomitosis and as a result the diploid homozygous cells and ultimately the whole diploid plant is produced during the process of endomitosis.